Hey, good afternoon, Scorpio, and welcome to your August Tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. My name is Carrie, and I'm excited to share your August energy readings with you. Uh, Scorpio, your beautiful zodiac sign. Whether you're a sun sign of Scorpio or your moon arising Scorpio, we could have Scorpio in your Venus. Whatever the energies were that brought you here to this reading, trust those energies. You may, some of you may be checking up on a Scorpio. Uh, others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here, right? And I appreciate you being here, especially if you're a returning subscriber. It's great to have you back. Great to connect with all of you. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, I'm thankful to have you here as well. Scorpio, just stick around. We'll see if the energies in this reading, if they resonate with you. Keep in mind, this reading will not be for every Scorpio, but it will be for many of you. Um, yeah, so Scorpio, I have a, you know, we have a little, I'm, I'm, I'm going to share with you in the beginning of your reading, your astrological reading for the month of August. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to explain to you planetarily what's happening for, for the, the zodiac sign of Scorpio in the month of August, like where you have movements in the planets and such, and how these energies will manifest for you in the month of August. Uh, but my son is a Scorpio, right? So I love the Scorpio energy, very faithful and balanced energy, uh, very brave, very focused. Scorpios have this beautiful way of just kind of effortlessly grabbing the limelight, right? And that describes my son to a T, so I always get a chuckle out of that. Uh, Scorpio, you were found in the eighth house. The eighth house it represents the things like death, taxes, and inheritances. It's also joint resources, other people's money, sex, and transformation. And Scorpio, you were ruled by the planet of Pluto. So the planet Pluto is the planet of transformation. So Scorpio, let's begin by, I'm going to go through and just kind of outline to you an astrological forecast for you for the month of August so you can get a better sense planetarily what's happening throughout the month of August when and how these energies may affect you. Um, I kind of like to look at this as like a, a macro look, right? So looking at, above at the energies and how they how they move around so we get that aspect and then we'll turn to the tarot reading where in the tarot I think we're able to, to, to tune into a little more specific energy so we can really get a better sense of how these energies are manifesting for you Scorpio in the month of August. So let's get started. Okay Scorpio, August 2020. So on the third, which was yesterday, you have a full moon in your fourth house. The full moon shines a light in a life area. Your home, your family, your security, your stability. You may be moving or wanting to make some changes uh, in a part of your life in, in, in your home. So you may be lo looking at even relocating. If not that, then probably making some changes around the home. These are just what the energies are kind of bringing into your life. On the 5th, you have Mercury joining the Sun in your 10th house. On the 18th, you have a new moon in your 10th house. So a lot of activity for you, Scorpio, in the month of August, taking place in both your 4th and your 10th houses. Um, this means a focus this month on stability in your home and your career. How can I contribute? What do I really want to do? So Scorpio, you may be asking yourself some of, that, some of these questions. Like, Why am I here? What is my purpose in life? I want to be able to channel and to focus my energies in areas where it really makes a positive difference for the collective. Uh, what's the purpose of my life, right? So a month where you may be deep in thought. On the 8th, Scorpio, Venus comes into your ninth house. This is a great time to meet somebody far away, right? It may possibly a long distance relationship, a great time to learn and study subjects that you're interested and fascinated in, especially those spiritual subjects. On the 20th, Mercury comes into your 11th house. On the 23rd, the sun joins Mercury in your 11th house. This is a great time for you, Scorpio, to socialize and make new friends. You may find yourself working with others or working with a team, maybe even connecting with others where you're able to collaborate and put together some great ideas on moving forward together. It's a time to absorb knowledge and work with the power of your mind. Mars energy is in your sixth house. Uh, this is here for several months. This is a time to take better care of yourself, making sure that you're eating right, that you're sleeping, getting adequate rest, um, and that you're exercising, right? And spending a lot of time outdoors connecting with nature. All right, Scorpio. So there you have it. There's your astrological reading, right, for the month of August. And now we're going to dive into your tarot reading and get a little more specific with these energies. 
to see how they're manifesting for you. All right, Scorpio. First thing I want to do is pull an affirmation card for you just so we can see which affirmation your guides feel would be best suited for you to hear taking us into your tarot reading. Okay, all right. What did the planet say for you, Scorpio, in the month of August, right? The month of August is a fantastic time for you to be able to connect with others, form new friendships in your life, distant friendships or even friendships that are closer to home. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. So Scorpio, many of you that are resonating with these energies will find in the month of August that you're, that you're connecting with others, right? Maybe that you're, you're connecting with others and really able to put together some meaningful relationships and friendships in your life. I feel like the month of August is a key month for you for, in terms of friendships and the relationships, relationships that you have in your life. Okay, Scorpio. So I'm going to do your reading with my Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck by John Holland. First thing I want to do is I pre-shuffled my decks, but I want to shuffle it one more time. Pull the bottom card to see what the what the opening energy and theme is for your tarot reading for the month of August. And here, Scorpio, it comes to us as take the lead, right? So month of August is a real a real good time for Scorpio, right? To really step up, step up and take the lead in your life. It's also, you know, with all the activity that you have taking place in, your, in both your fourth and your tenth house, right? This is a, the month of August, Scorpio, is a great month for you to really focus on your family, focus on stability and security in your life, as well as focusing on your career. Some of you may be considering changing careers, right, or enhancing careers. Uh, some of you may be interested in starting a side business, right? So the month of August is a beautiful time for you to be able to do that. Beautiful time for you, Scorpio, to step up and to take charge. Take the lead in your life. Okay, Scorpio. Let's pull some more energies and see what's going on for you in the month of August. Okay, so moving in across the top, here we have open up. Right? So this is about opening yourself up, reaching out, connecting with others. Again, Astrologically, with everything that's happening with the planets, Scorpio, the month of August is a beautiful time for you to, for you guys to be able to connect and open yourselves up, make some new connections in your life. Some of these connections may be connected to your heart, right? With the heart chakra showing up, coming in next to open up. Another chakra energy, solar plexus chakra. So this this chakra energy is is. It's centered on, on it's what's your solar plexus chakra. So this is about your confidence, right? Your belief in yourself, recognizing recognizing your value. Um, yeah, it's 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 really it's it's feeling those energies, energies of, of confidence, and it's coming in. <coughs> excuse me, Scorpio, attached to the to the heart chakra, right? So some of you may. Well, some. Well, let me pull a few more energies and see. Okay, Scorpio, coming in next. Here we have love showing up. Major Arcana. This represents the energy of Gemini. So this is equivalent to the Lovers card. Some of you, Scorpio, may be connected to a Gemini. Okay, Scorpio, another chakra, sacral chakra coming in next. So this is about the chakra that that's that oversees our desires. Our wants, our needs, our desires, coming in underneath the solar plexus chakra. So anytime the chakra energies show up in the tarot reading, a lot of times I feel like they're showing up because for that zodiac sign there could be a blockage there. So I'm gonna, Scorpio, I'm gonna read to you about these chakras, so we can learn how to open these chakras up. Okay, coming in next we have the energy of Leo showing up as control. Uh, that's equivalent to the strength card. Just looking here, right? So she's looking down. She looks like, I mean, she looks like she's she's very content. And maybe the reason why she's so content is because she's been observing, right? And when I say she, Scorpio, in this, in this case, I'm representing, I'm meaning you, right? So maybe you've been observing. What have you been observing? 
Also, you've been observing relationships and connections in your life with the lover's card showing up here. Okay, Scorpio. Coming in next, we have Seek the Truth. So this is uh, the Seven of Swords. So here you are seeking truth, right? Wanting to know what's behind the curtain. Here she is opening up the curtain, and we see these two heads right here. Right? The heads are in this shadow energy, right? So here she is opening up the curtain, curtain wanting to see what's on the other side of the curtain. And no worries, Scorpio. We're going to pull some clarifiers for you. Okay, Scorpio, coming in next, we have spread your wings. So this is equivalent to the two of wands, right? This is a call to action. This is about stepping up and taking it, taking action. Um, you know, we have we have both the two of wands and the three of wands. These are both action-oriented uh, energies. Um, you know, spreading your wings. Um, and for some of you, you know, we have, we have spread your wings coming in right next to seek the truth. So some of you, there may be a truth in your life that, that you're seeking, uh, that, that you're looking for, right? In order to, and, and, and you feel like you want, if you can just understand this truth, then you have the ability to really open up and to spread your wings. Scorpio, let's get some clarification here for you. First energy I want to get some clarification on is open up. This is about reaching out, connecting with others. Again, Scorpio, August is a great time energetically for you to be able to do this. Tell us about open up for Scorpio. Seven of Cups. Okay, coming in next, we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, this is a good energy as it represents the energy of your knight in shining armor, right? Like all night energies, it's an energy that's sure to show up. So we have this, this knight, right? He, here he is headed towards the open up energy and he's headed towards having a lot of choices in your life, right? So I feel like the message for you, Scorpio, is, is yeah, to, to give yourselves the chance to really open yourselves up in the month of August, right? Give yourself the chance to reach out and to make new new contacts, make make new friendships, connect with soul family members. Um, because what it does is it opens you up for a lot of opportunities, a lot of choices. Whether these choices are 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 relationship choices with different partners, or they could be choices regarding opportunities. But I feel like for some of you, yeah, opening up opens you up in order for this Knight of Cups, the Knight of, you know, of, of romance, the Knight of Passion to come in and, and to show up in your life. So for you Scorpios that are, that are looking for love, that are seeking that connection in your life, month of August is a beautiful time for you to really open yourself up, put yourself out there. Okay, coming in on the Heart Shocker, we have the Four of Swords. So, Scorpio, makes me wonder, are you taking good care of yourself, right? There we go. Talking about taking good care of yourself, and here we have the Empress Energy show up. So when the Four of Swords showed up, I kind of felt like, you know, coming out on the Heart Chakra, I kind of felt like for some of you Scorpios, you may be somewhat imbalanced. Um, you may not be recognizing your value, recognizing your worth. You know, you, you may, f yeah, some of you may not really feel connected to all the abundance of love that resides within you. But the Empress card's coming out, right? Connected to the heart chakra. So this is about taking the time to really, to recognize your value, recognize your worth. You know, the Empress energy, she's the mother of all things earthly, right? So she represents unconditional love to everything and everybody around her. Where does that, how does that happen exactly? So Scorpio, it happens, it begins with you, right? It begins with you of recognizing your value and your worth and feeling that within you. 
And once you can really feel that, then it opens you up to receive beautiful energies of unconditional love. Pretty soon you're attracting nature, you're attracting others into your life. Why? Because they're drawn to your energy. So Scorpio, let's take just a moment and read out loud from the guidebook about the chakra energies here so we can learn exactly the best way to open these up. <clears throat> so let's start with the heart chakra. Heart chakra, again, it represents the energy of I love, right? And in this case right here, who is it that we're focused on? Scorpio, you, right? Recognizing your self-love. Parallel to the heart, the heart chakra represents unconditional love, compassion, harmony, relationships, and healing. It's believed to be the link between mind, body, and soul. To activate this chakra, take a moment to send from your heart loving, healing energy in the form of blue and green waves. Blue for peace, green for healing. Send this to everyone and everything unconditionally. This love will be returned to you for your own healing. And I know that to be true when we take the time to send out love, unconditional love, to anybody specific in our life or to the collective, those energies come back to us threefold. Okay, let's now read about the solar plexus chakra. So again, it's representing the energy of I can. So this is connected to your confidence. The solar plexus chakra is located above the navel area and just below the rib cage. It represents power, vitality, willpower, self-esteem, and confidence. This chakra is associated with clairsentience, inner feeling, which is the major psychic reception area. To strengthen this chakra, try this breathing exercise. Scorpio, close your eyes, and as you inhale deeply through your nose, breathe in the color yellow. See it coming from a glowing, brilliant sun. Send this vital energy to your solar plexus. Exhale through your mouth all energies that don't serve you. Believe that you can have the relationships you desire, and you will. Okay. So, beautiful energy there for you, Scorpio. And now let's tap into the sacral chakra. Again, sacral chakra represents the energies of all the things that we want, right? So this is connected to our desires, right? And sometimes it can be connected to our sexual desires. Known as the sacral chakra, the second so chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality. To activate the chakra, visualize a glowing orange ball of energy in your belly area. See it spinning and sparkling. Feel joy as it grows larger and send some orange sparks out into the universe. By energizing the sacral chakra, you'll attract creativity, joy, passion, and love into your life. Okay, and I have to just point out to you, Scorpio, as we're talking about that orange ball of, ball of energy connected to your sacral chakra, here it is. Right here it is in your hand as you as you are holding it in your hand and you're offering it up to the world. It's kind of beautiful. All right, Scorpio, let's get some more clarification for you here. Tell us more about the solar plexus chakra. Okay, two of cups. Right, so solar plexus chakra, you know your confidence, your belief in recognizing your value. Recognizing your value in this relationship and this connection, Scorpio, that you have in your life. Uh, Two of Cups is a beautiful energy. It's a soulmate kind of energy. All right, Scorpio, tell us more about the Solar Plexus Chakra. Okay, Ten of Swords coming in next. Uh, ten is a good number. You know, this represents, you know, the ending of, of some painful lessons. You know, so Scorpio, look at the end of the day. You know, it may have been this, you know, these experiences located and found in these Ten Swords, right? Ten Swords that are impelled in her back as she lies face down in the snow. So it could be these, you know, these lessons from the past. Sometimes lessons are beautiful right they're always great 
in the long term. Uh, but sometimes when we're right in the thick of them, right, we can take on a lot of heavy energies. And a lot of times, our life lessons, right, they can really cause us to step back and to question ourselves, right, to question our ability, even questioning our value and our worth, right, questioning our value and our worth specifically as it pertains to relationships in our life. And in this case, it's, it's a specific relationship for you, Scorpio. All right, tell us about the lover's card. Had to make sure we didn't have a card flip. All right, Scorpio. Again, tell us about the lover's card. Okay, coming in next, we have the Nine of Cups. So beautiful energy. This is about manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. So this is an energy that's connected to this energy. This is connected to the lovers for you, Scorpio. So powerful connection means a lot to all of you. I mean, for some of you, this is your person. You know, this is, this is where you feel connected to being able to manifest all of your hopes and dreams. However, you guys might be a lot alike, right? Showing itself as the five of wands. These are mirroring energies. So we see the three men fighting with sticks and the two lions fighting. Nobody's really out to hurt the other person but it represents fighting, you know, some disharmony nonetheless. So, yeah, the two of you, Scorpio, may be, I mean, you may be more alike than you're aware of. You probably have a lot of things in common. All right, tell us about take the lead. Okay, six of cups. So this could be referring to somebody from your past. You may have somebody from your past showing up. It may be somebody from your past that's connected to this lover's card. For others, this can represent the, en the energy of going back to a younger time, right? An early in earlier time in your life, Scorpio, where you maybe just took on the energy of really stepping up and taking the lead in your life. So remembering those energies, connecting yourself with those energies, and then allowing those energies to propel you moving forward. What does it propel you to? Here's Leo showing up again in your reading. So the Sun card, which this gives you the opportunity to live life with childlike enthusiasm. So beautiful energy, letting go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns. I mean, so Scorpio, when you take on the energy of really stepping into your power and taking the lead, the universe is saying that, this, that the sun will shine on you, right? If the sun will shine on you, and for many of you, it may these energies may very well take you back to a younger time in your life where you experience these beautiful, empowering energies. All right, Scorpio, let's continue. We've got the lover's card here on the bottom of the deck. Tell us about the sacral chakra. Okay. So coming in next, we have the star card. So this represents the energy of Aquarius. So some of you, you may be an Aquarius or have Aquarius somewhere in your chart, or you may be connected to an Aquarius. It may be an Aquarius, right, that, that you're wanting, that, you, that you're desiring. The other energy this represents is, is manifesting all of your hopes and dreams, right? So these, this represents the very energy for all of your desires. She's standing underneath eight stars, eight representing good luck, as above, so below. All right, Scorpio, tell us about control. Why is the control energy showing up? Tell us about control for Scorpio. Okay, six of swords. So what have you been paying attention to, right? You've been, well, you're aware of the swords because we have the 10 of swords showing up earlier in your reading. Uh, but this is you recognizing these swords, you recognizing Scorpio that you can't take the swords with you into this next relationship. Um, whatever the relationship is about, whether it's romantic or it's friendship or it's business relationship, so it's your willingness to lie down the swords. And the reason you're willing to do that is because you've been paying attention, right? You know that these swords are just not, they're not energies that are going to serve you moving forward, specifically with this connection. All 
All right, Scorpio, tell us more about control. Okay, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords coming in, bringing you truth, right? What is he? He's bringing you this truth about the swords of the past, right? Bring you the truth to let you know that in order to move forward, it would serve you best to lie down the swords. What does that mean at the end of the day? So Scorpio, that's talking about lying down the energies of the familiar past, right? Because we're creatures of habit. A lot of times, it's easy for us to, to look back on past experience, right? And when we have some challenging experiences, <clears throat> Scorpio, we can take on those energies of just feeling like it's going to continue to be challenging. That we're just going to continue to hit the same stumbling blocks and the same walls, right? So this night, bringing in this truth to you, letting you know, Scorpio, lay down the swords. The swords are no longer going to serve you. So you lay down the swords, it's like having a clean slate, right? You're just freeing yourself up completely. And you're freeing, your, you're freeing yourself up, you're opening yourself up. And what are you opening yourself up to? Love, right? This love and this connection coming into your life. You're opening yourself up to recognizing your own love, your own value. Really working on your confidence, right? Taking good care of yourself. Tell us about Seek the Truth for Scorpio. Okay, what is it you're seeking the truth on? Abundance, right? Ten of Pentacles. Where is my abundance in life, right? Looking behind, you're looking behind the curtain and you're saying, all right, universe, I'm looking for my abundance. Where is it? I know that it's here. Coming in next to that, we have the Queen of Pentacles, right? The Queen of Pentacles, she knows that she's abundant. So Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, a very seasoned and experienced energy in life. Great at multitasking, great at organizing, keeping track of things. Uh, she recognizes the stability and the security in her life, right? So you recognizing and seeing and feeling, right, all of this abundance that's in your life. And Scorpio, that's the thing. You know, looking behind the curtain, right, it's already there. The curtain is there, so you have the ability to open up this curtain now. And I encourage you to you know, take out the pen and the paper and begin making a list. Make, it, make a list of all the things in life that you feel that, that are bringing you abundance, right? All the things in your life that you feel grateful for. Write these things down, really, so you're able to really recognize and feel the abundance in your life. And in doing so, all it does, it just opens you up to be able to continue to receive more abundance in your life. I really like in your reading, Scorpio. All right, tell us about spread your wings for Scorpio. Okay, spread your wings. Coming in next, we have the world card, right? So the world card represents one chapter in your life, Scorpio, coming to an ending. And you're now getting ready to step in and open up the door on the next chapter, right? So maybe this is what you're seeking the truth on behind the curtain. Maybe this, maybe, you know, some of you recognize this, this chapter being here and you're wanting to open up the curtain, right? To see what's, what's in the next chapter, to step into it. But the world card letting you know that there's a new chapter waiting for you. And we know that there's a new chapter waiting for you because here we have the 10 of swords, not the nine of swords, the 10. So this is letting you know that these, these energies are completed for you in your life, Scorpio, if you choose to complete them. Again, keep in mind, we're just we're looking at potential here, right? Choice has not been made yet. Tell us more about spread your wings. Tell us more about spread your wings for Scorpio. Maybe. Okay, Scorpio. Next, we have the Eight of, Eight of Swords. So, yeah, what is it about? Letting go of the fear, right? This is one of your blockages. Showing up as fear, right? She's wearing a blindfold over her eyes. She's surrounded by these eight swords, and these, these ravens are, are holding her captive. She has this blindfold over her eyes. You know, so the blindfold's preventing her from being able to see all that she'd like to be able to see. Here we see 
possibly this blindfold showing up for you again, Scorpio, and seek the truth, wanting to see what's what's behind the curtain. It's about it's about just taking that leap of faith and trusting, right? Trusting Scorpio, knowing that you're good enough, knowing that you're loved enough, you're talented enough, you're worthy enough. Scorpio, at the end of the day, you are worthy for love and you are worthy for a great and a big and a magnificent love in your life. And I can see that connection here in your tarot reading, right? It's just about you recognizing your value and your worth. Believing in yourself, right? Doing the work to open up these chakras so that this love and this connection can come together. All right, Scorpio, I think I'm done with your tarot reading. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you for the beautiful comments, the likes, subscribes, and the shares. For all the beautiful support that so many of you provide to me here on this channel. I can't begin to thank you enough. All right, Scorpio, you have an exciting August to look forward to. Wishing you all the very best. Thanks again.